What's up guys? I don't want to bang too hard because it took me like 10 minutes to get this camera situated. Uh, yeah, it's on a tripod I got from Dave & Buster's. So it's barely holding it up. This is my very first unboxing video. And although I've watched a ton on YouTube, never done one myself, so bear with me. I'm gonna try to make this quick, painless, and informative. So, you guys know me, you know I love shark fishing. The only gear that I have is for shark fishing. I have the Abbott, uh, 12 watt Senator, and the Slammer 3 for casting. So, heavy shark gear. And then, all the way on the other side of the spectrum, I have two bait casters for largemouth bass and a small 4,000 size spinning reel pen. So, I either have heavy gear or I have light freshwater gear. I don't really have anything in the middle. Now, you could argue I could use the Pen Slammer 3 8500 to catch some medium to larger size fish, but I feel like it's overkill for most of the stuff that I want to target. Since we're doing all this traveling, there's a lot of fish that I'm going to get a chance to target that I've never got a chance before. So, alligator gar, northern pike, musky, Big catfish. I know we have those in Maryland. I've never really targeted them, but I'm going to start targeting them now. I want to get a big blue, a big flathead. Also, carp. I mean, I can get carp on the 4,000 size spinning reel, but I want to go for some big. I saw some huge ones in Florida that I'm a little upset I didn't target, but carp and sturgeon. Sturgeon is another one. So, I want to add another setup or two to the fleet just in the middle like for the middle medium size to larger size freshwater fish that i'm gonna start targeting uh like striped bass rockfish i'm from maryland so they're not the highest on my list but i need something that's above the bait casters because they're like 100 size bait casters and i need something below the shark gear so this is the for first shimano reel and this is the first step in that direction so i actually did quite a bit of research trying to figure out what I wanted. I wanted this to be a bait caster and not a spinning reel. And I wanted it to be on the larger size. So this is a size 400. I wanted it to have a low gear ratio so that I can work. Cause I'm thinking in my head for a lot of these predatory fish, I'm gonna be working some swim baits. I'm gonna be working some glide baits, which I have really no experience with, and some deep, large crankbaits, which is what I love to fish with largemouth. So I wanna throw some big ones for say, Northern Pike and stuff like that. So I wanted a low gear ratio. I wanted it to be bigger and a bait caster. And I would love for it to have a clicker, which this one does. Um, that way I can throw out say live bait and use this as a live bait rod for catfish, carp, whatever else, a sturgeon. And I can also use this as a steady retrieve reel for swim baits, glide baits, that kind of thing for predatory fish like striper, pike, muskie, whatever else I want to. So this is a step in the direction of just a do everything river monster reel. This is the Corvallis Shimano, Shimano Corvallis 400. It's got a five, two to one gear ratio. It has uh, an extra anti-reverse assist stopper, which I think is always a plus. It's got the Shimano variable brake system, which I don't really know anything about. Um, one thing I really like about it is it has a full aluminum body. And actually, you know what? Instead of talking about it, let's just cut it open. Let's get into it. But I wanted to touch on why I got it first, because a lot of you are used to me catching shark, which is my thing, and largemouth bass, which is also my thing. But I'm going to start targeting a lot of other things, and this is going to help me with that. So as soon as we open it up, you got the parts list and manual, which is always good. I always like these kind of things because I take apart my own stuff, and I try to maintenance, service it, repair it, whatever I need to do. I always save these in a Ziploc bag. That way, if I ever take it apart, I can probably put it back together. But looking right inside the box, we got this beautiful reel, which is gonna come out with the plastic, and we have a takedown tool in the bottom. 
So that's going to be everything. Let's go ahead and look at this. Already, I'm already pumped with it. So I've actually never held a 400 size bait caster before. I really haven't done that much freshwater besides largemouth, so it's a learning process for me. Uh, right off the bat, it has a little tag that says, this reel is equipped with a VBS braking system. To provide maximum casting control, see the owner's manual under VBS for details. So I will have to do some reading, but star drag. Okay, so there's no clicker with this, like with some of the bait casters. I have a uh, Abu Garcia bait caster, the Black Max, and a uh, Bass Pro one that when you click this, it goes. One thing I do notice is this is plastic. I kind of wish that this was metal. Not the biggest deal, cutting down on weight, I guess. These are also, oh, well, these are rubber. The grips are rubber. This is metal. This is plastic. I kind of wish the star was metal. I just, I like that. But side plates, actually the whole, the whole thing is aluminum. And, Very smooth, I will say that, very smooth. Corvallis 400, I don't know if that's gonna focus or not. It looks good, it looks very clean. It is, for never holding one in my hand, um, it's the perfect size for what I wanted. Um, it, it may be a tad bigger. So I was looking at the Corvallis 300s, which they have on Tackle Direct. By the way, let me take a step backwards. I ordered this from Tackle Direct. I order basically everything from Tackle Direct. They have everything. I love just using their website as a tool to look at specs. Like you can type in Corvallis 400, you can type in Pen Battle 3 6000, you can type in Abbott TRX 80 wide, and you can look at the drag, you can look at the gear ratio, you can look at line capacities. I have Tackle Direct as my number one favorites on my phone uh and anytime i have any question on reels rods um prices on anything specs on anything i just look it up on there because they have literally everything on there the only thing i've noticed that they don't have on there which i haven't used is casking gear i kind of wish that they had casking gear on there because i've been wanting to try the caps capstan capstan I got a couple buddies that use the spinning reels and the bait casters, and they look good. I want to try them. Um, I could just order them straight from Casking, but I haven't. But we're getting away from the point. My point is Tackle Direct. They ship out of New Jersey, and I have never paid for shipping ever. Now, most of the time I order it, I'm in Maryland. Well, right now we're up in Connecticut, and I haven't paid for shipping, and it's gotten to me within three days and this is a day after 4th of July so three days including a holiday is pretty good down south I ordered by south I mean North Carolina I ordered what I, order? I think I ordered some hooks ordered some hooks and again didn't pay for shipping I just wanted to see how long it took to get to me it took four days so they'll charge you the uh, the basic fee of like 10 or 12 bucks and it's supposed to get to you within five business days. You can pay for overnight shipping and you can pay for three day, but the free shipping always gets to me within a week. So if you ever order from Tackle Direct and you're on, at least on the East Coast, I wouldn't even bother paying for shipping. Back to this reel. Um, anyway, looking on Tackle Direct, I was going to get the 300 size reel. I wanted it because I knew that wouldn't be too big. Like I said, this is um, this is actually going to be perfect because I can use this again. It's manageable. I can use this on a reel, or sorry, on the rod to cast out big swim baits, big glide baits, big crank baits, which is exactly what I wanted. And I can also use this to cast out a live bait, cast out bait, and, uh, and wait for them freshwater giants to come. But the 300 size reel I knew wouldn't be too big. The only reason why I didn't get it is because the 300 size reel does not come with a clicker. And this one,
This one actually comes with a clicker, which I really like. I don't see a whole lot of smaller bait casting reels like this come with clickers. And I thought that was a really cool feature that, I mean, I know personally from shark fishing, having a loud clicker makes a difference rather than sitting there without a clicker, just waiting for the line to move or putting a bell on the rod. I put a bell on the slammer all the time because the slammer three does not have a loud clicker. It's one of my biggest complaints with that reel. They need to put a louder clicker on it. And when I'm sitting there waiting for something to take the bait, I have to actually wait for the rod to start moving because the line in the wind, you know, 13 feet up in the air is gonna start moving like this and you really can't count on that. So you have to wait for the rod to dip down. But the Abbott, the Senator, um, even the um, little spinning reel that I have, the Pen Fierce uh, 4000, it's got a little clicker on it, just enough to where if I, if I threw it out for carp, um, I hear it going off. So. Clicker is really important for me for bait fishing, for something on the bottom, waiting for it to pick it up. That was the reason why I got the 400. The 400 size reel is the only one that comes with the clicker. Um, if this works out really well and it happens to be too big or a little too cumbersome to throw consistent baits all day with, maybe I'll get the 300. But um, I'd rather have one reel a little too big that can do it all and maybe just kind of get used to it than have one reel that's a little small and doesn't have all the features that I want. Um, anyway, so we'll see. Back to this first impressions, looks solid. It looks really solid. I'm gonna show you some of these close-ups on it. Again, the only thing is I wish that this was metal. That's it, it's the only thing. Other than that, it looks great. I'm recording this on my phone, so I'm hoping this comes out. Oh, the other thing. I'm gonna have to look into what it's called. I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called. Precision, quick fire, clutch, big kind of system, I don't know, power handle, variable brake system, in reverse, one of spool. Okay, so I forget what this is called, but apparently this has a feature, which is new to me. Normally when you press the button and you cast out, Normally the line guide stays put and the spool spins, line comes out and it unravels side to side, but this stays still. I'm not sure how it works. I'm not even 100% sure that this has it, but I thought it did. But apparently this has it to where the line guide follows the line as you're casting out to help prevent being tangled up bird's nest anything like that wind knots so don't quote me on that i thought this had it it might have been one of the other reels that i was looking at i was looking at a few before i settled on this one but yeah uh more specs like i said five two to one this only has doesn't say it on here but i know i read it on here this only has like 11 12 pounds of drag which again, isn't the most, but in fresh water with this amount of line capacity, I think it's gonna be enough to stop them. I'm gonna spool this up with some heavy braid. The line capacities on this say, it doesn't even actually say it on the box, which is odd. Um, it says for monofilament, but for braid, I'd have to look it up on Tackle Direct. I know I can get, 100 yards of 50 on here. I think that's what it was. Man, I'm bad. I um, I knew all these, but I was just thinking it was going to have the answers on the box, so I didn't. It just says line capacity indicated as approximate for guidance purposes only. Okay, so this is a really bad review. I didn't memorize the specs before I got on here. Man, this thing's just, it's bigger than anything else I've ever thrown. I'm trying to imagine this. I have a rod already picked out. It is a ugly stick. It's a medium heavy. Um, 
I think it's going to be a perfect combination to throw big swim baits and also throw bait out there to catch something. So anyway, this is going to be the first part to a series, I guess, I'm going to do. I'm going to do a whole overview of the setup, overview of all the fish that I catch off of the setup, how I like it, how it works for me, things I don't like, things I would change, um, if anything breaks, maintenance. Um, I thought it'd be cool to just get one setup, one do everything setup, not everything, not sharks, not largemouth bass, but like do everything in between my river monster setup and then just kind of take this out with a backpack, throw live bait, throw chunks of dead bait, throw different types of big baits for predatory fish and just see what I could catch. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave you with some shots of this. I will do a, another video of this when it's all put together with the rod, with the line, with the swim baits that I'm going to throw out there. And I think the very first thing I'm going to do with this is since I'm in Connecticut is either going to go chase some Northern Pike or I'm going to go chase some big catfish. I have to figure out where everything's at because I haven't done any fishing yet here in Connecticut, but I'm excited. And I'm really excited to do like a series, like a follow along. Never done anything like that before. So anyway, this is also one more thing. One more thing while I'm remembering it, because I didn't write any of these notes down. This is supposed to be good for salt water too. Not that I'm planning on taking this out shark fishing, but I like knowing that the gear that I use can withstand the elements and can withstand a little bit of abuse. Again, why I like the all metal frame. And it seems like it's well put together, but at the end of the day, that's what these reviews are for. That's what these videos are for, because we're going to put this to a test. So put this to the test. So stay tuned.